Good morning, everyone. Do you see the quail out on the fence? Can you hear the dove? This is the new fence. Yeah, I didn't build it all the way because I actually still wanted to be able to look at that over there, that beautiful stuff. And uh, if I had the fence, I'd be staring at that, the back of that. And I moved out here to be in the rural area. Um, here's the tomatoes, they're doing pretty good. Uh, I got some ripe ones. These are natural heirloom tomatoes. I haven't ever had to plant them. My neighbors, when I moved out here, they were really kind and they gave me a, a home warming gift of uh, some tomatoes. And so I've had tomatoes ever since. And, and these are heirloom San Marzanos. And uh, they're doing really good. They don't have any tomatoes on them yet. And these are, these are the sisters of the other ones that I just showed you. There was a whole bunch of them, so I had to move them to give them room. And then here's... Here's a couple of more San Marzanos. There's three of them. There's the one right here, one back there, and then one right there. And then these are the natural shrubs that just seem to love to put themselves wherever they look good. And I'm really grateful for them. And uh, I've been busy fighting off these weird, strange orange beetle bugs. I don't know what, what their actual names are. There's two different kinds. Look at that. Look at that straw. Mm, mm mm it's almost ready but these are this is strawberry patch number two the front one's out by the garden but we've had some really awful hot winds and I haven't felt like making any videos my garden has been kind of strange the way the weather's been and seeds not coming up and isn't this a beauty look at her isn't that just gorgeous yeah, she's a pretty flower. And then there's my babies, but the sun's been kind of getting to them. And then there's her sister over there. She's coming on. It takes a while for them to get mature, but boy, they, those are such beautiful flowers. They really are. They stand out with the meadow sage when it's a little bit more sunny. And uh, my beans are doing okay. I found out that the stuff that was wrong with the Raspberries was a rest thing in the lilacs. Those bugs, like I said, I've been bite battling these bugs. I was uh, not realizing they were going to just take over, and they really made a mess out of my my lilacs. I'm, they're coming back. I got some little. Sh there was a bud on there yesterday. Oh, there she is. It's just down there right at the very bottom. I don't know, right over here if you can see it. Yeah, she's gonna come back. She's not going to give up. The other one's on the other side. They're doing okay. See, she's got a little a little bud right back up in here. Right there. Uh, trying to get the uh, hang of this camera. The bud's right back over here. This sounds nice. That black stuff, you see? I don't know if you can get the right kind out because of the sun. Right over here, this black stuff. This is this is this is what was, has been been harming them too. Um, a black disease. Oh, uh, I don't know if that's lilac. It's kind of close to it, so I I don't want to pull it up just yet. I'll have to wait and see. The blueberries are doing good. They're holding on. They're getting <clears throat> stronger. They, the the newest ones, of course, the smallest ones. They're not going to have berries. They're not going to have berries till next year. But uh, <clears throat> there they are. They got the different colors going on. Um, I sprayed it with some copper because they, they started to get that the black the black spot right here. So I'm nursing them back to health. It's just it's just like I never knew anything about blueberries. So see, I'm learning about all of these diseases here that can actually wipe out your plant if you don't pay attention. This black black spot and stuff. And then see, she's rebuilding herself, giving me new leaves and showing me. And then of course, you know I'm. I'm just learning guys you know I'm not no experts like the gardening with puppies she's so amazing I really look up to her uh, and then here's my the the jersey the big jersey she's she's doing really good that that stuff really helped right now her leaves look way better um, but the, this one here she's was getting attacked pretty bad so you know she's she's doing the best she can she knows I'm trying to take care of her I love her I love all my my stuff here trying to take care of and then this is the early 
you know same thing you just got to be vigilant you got to be it's it's gardening is is fun but it's also a lot of work and you just got to you know be smart about it and i'm learning the hard way uh, they're not paying attention <laughs> Uh, I do pay attention, but you know what I mean. It's it's just, it can get overwhelming, guys. You know, you know. I know I'm talking to the, if any of the seasoned gardeners watch this, they, they know what I'm talking about. It's 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 a commitment. you got to love what you're doing in the garden in order for it to be fun. Anyway, see the diff, see, this is what I'm talking about. The rust, these rust, these, it's, this is the same kind of stuff that started up onto my uh, raspberry. That's where I connected it. So I went and bought the copper, the copper, fungicide stuff and Gary Pesnik is supposed to have some really good stuff too I just haven't gotten in contact with him yet but there's my collard greens look at that I know the bugs have been eating them a little bit but before this is the best collard greens I've ever grown so I'm feeling pretty good right now yeah and here's my carrots they're still not quite big enough I've been watering them like crazy there's the cucumbers and see even the cucumbers are getting into it they they were they're starting to get a little bit of rust and stuff too this is happening overnight now I'm gonna have to respray I'm going to have to get busy, guys. Um, anyway, so this is the garden update. Uh, there's some more good collards. Uh, my Toscano. My Toscano kale. Oh, look at this. Are you serious? Look, at they want to, they want to, they even want to try to help me decorate my garden. Sorry, guys. You can't grow out here in my garden, man. This is the garden. You have to keep your decoration skills outside the garden. And my potatoes. Onions. Oh, this is the kale. This is the kale that I was, I love this kale. This is the good stuff. Once it starts to get going, yeah, I've been spraying this. I'm not letting the bugs get to it. I've learned my lesson. Anyway, there's the onions and scallions. They're about almost done. And uh, there's the look at that. I'm going to have some yams. I'm hoping for some yams. She's doing pretty good. But uh, look at those cucumbers. Look at that cucumber patch. I got an... Once they get back, you know, the leaves and everything, i got to get that blue-green, or the blue-gold. There's this stuff called blue-gold that my neighbors has, has that you spray on to treat the foliage feeder. And then and here's the strawberries. I've been battling those red beetles over here, too, because they've been really taking over. And, uh, and i got to spray these, too, you know. I guess there's, seems like, yeah, it's kind of getting over here onto the strawberries, too. That, it's amazing. Uh... What can happen if you don't pay attention to <laughs> these leaves and stuff? You know, you just think it's innocent. But you know what, guys? There was something that got on here the other day that just, it looked like motor oil. In fact, it's still right there. Some of this black stuff. I mean, I know there's black spot, but this stuff looked like motor oil. I mean, you know, we know about the chemtrails and stuff, how they go. But anyway, it just seemed kind of weird. Anyway, uh, yeah, we've had a lot of smoke and stuff lately uh, from fires I hope you guys been safe there's the elderberry the, the wind has been rough on the poor thing she got too heavy with all the berries anyway I wish you guys the best have a great day